So, uh, I don't know if you've spoken to him. Uh, have you asked him question what he believes about Jesus? Uh, what's the concept of God? No, you... I, I start. I yeah. talked only about mis uh, about manuscript. About the manuscript. Okay. Cool. 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 I think the best. Yeah. I think the best starting point is to like talk about the concept of God because you know that's the, that's the foundation of all religions. Yeah. Christianity, Judaism, Islam. Um, so I want to know what, what what do you believe about God? You know, what, what's the concept of God that you that you what's the concept of God that you subscribe? Yeah. Evolution, but I don't know what does evolution explain mm -hmm. personality and love and beauty and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, about? I think evolution evolution doesn't really answer, but evolution doesn't necessarily mean it negates the existence of God. No, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I, yeah. See, but what I'm asking is, what do you like believe I'm, about? I do listen to atheists explain yeah. evolution. Oh right. Explain beauty and love and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh yes, of it's course. Like this mortar. Yeah. But that's but, but that's with that. that's with uh that's that's with someone who believes in evolution, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about God now. There's more to stuff than just evolution. When you look at evolution, yeah. You look at plants and animals yeah, and stuff correct. like that. You can, yeah, but who originated? Evolution can explain that because yeah. humans it's a whole different ball game yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because uh, you know, we, we, we affirm mm. that we all come from Adam and Eve, right? Mm. Yeah, there were the uh, you know, Adam was the first man that God created, and then from Adam created Eve, and then that's when uh, pop, uh, that's when we came from. Yeah, mm. so we, we all come back to uh, our father and mother, right? Adam and Adam and Eve. But my question to you is, like, what, what do you believe about God? You believe in God, correct? Yeah. So, what do you believe about God? What's the, you know, what's the concept of God that you believe in? Because I would explain as a Muslim, I believe that God is only one, one and only, unique. There's nothing like unto Him. He's independent. He's self-sufficient. He's nothing like unto His creation, uh, and nothing rivals to Him. And we should not associate partners with Him. So I believe there's only one God, one Creator, and that we should only worship Him alone and we should not worship false gods. So that's what I believe as a Muslim. So I want to know what do you believe as a Christian? Because I understand Christians comes in different flavors. So I don't want to make any assumptions. So yeah, the ball's in your court. Uh, yeah, it's just that I... Uh, oh, I just... Do you believe in Trinity or you don't? Well, I believe in the Triune God. Yeah. Oh, you believe in the Triune God. So you, you, so you, so you believe that the, the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, and the Holy Spirit is fully God, but they're not three gods, but one God. Mm. Okay. So they're three distinct persons. Mm. Well, it's, it's, it's a yes. bit of a lost word. I'm trying to think of the word they use. Mystery. Yeah, history. There's another word as well. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. No, I think I'm losing my marbles now. Yeah. No. Christianity is better. Yeah. Okay, but are you are you saying Christianity is better uh, in terms of you know the way of life, or are you saying Christianity in terms of uh, theology makes more sense to you than yeah. Islam? Why would you say that? Um. Can we agree on one thing? Because. We, we, we like to come to common agreement, right? Like we, we both believe in Jesus, right? We both believe that he's the Messiah. We both believe that he was born uh, miraculously without any male intervention. We believe that he used to perform miracles by God's permission. We also affirm that his mother, Mary, was one of the best women to live on the face of this earth. She was, that, that, like, as for Muslim women, you know, uh, they try their best to emulate, uh, you know, the life and, of, of Mary. She, we respect her very much, but we don't agree with the Catholics believe that Mary is a mother of God because that's a blasphemy, it's an insult. 
because uh, you know how could you, how could you say that you know God you know has a wife in that sense? I know you don't believe biologically, but you can't use these terms. Yeah, and I don't believe Jesus is the Son of God. You know, in the sense that you know because he didn't have a biological father, you know, he inherits, uh, you know, a, a nature from the father. And that's the reason why you believe that in the hypostatic union, that you believe that Jesus has the divine nature and the human nature. I don't believe in that because from the divine nature, you know, uh, from, from, from the divine nature, you know, it's supposed to be uh, self-sufficient, you know, independent, doesn't need to eat to keep himself alive. But however, if you look at Jesus from his human nature, he needs to eat. So how can you be self-sufficient, but at the same time, you need to eat to keep yourself sustenant. So it's called paradox. It's a bit of a mystery, But do you believe in one God? Okay, but do, but do you believe in one God? Trying God is a is a is is um, is specific. But generally speaking, do you claim yourself to believe in one God? Because I, as far as I know, I, I interact with many Christians in the park here. They all say they believe in one God. But how does it make sense? How can you say it's one God when you also believe that the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, and the Holy Spirit is God? So how do you rationalize that? It doesn't make sense. So which, which is the reason why the, what makes sense is believe that there's only one God. What's the need of saying three? Why not four? Why not five? Because if I was to ask you this question, is believing one God, is it the same as saying three in one? Is it? If I say, if you, if I say one God and someone else, someone else says, I believe three in one, are they same? Or is it a different concept? So why not? So if you believe in one God, then there can only be one person. Can't be three persons. Otherwise, you believe in what you call, you know, a family of God. You don't believe in one God. You believe in a family of God. So what sense? To you, so what makes sense to you? It makes more sense that you believe there is only one God, one Creator, and that nothing is with Him. No one else can be God. And if you, if you read in the Bible as well, in John chapter seventeen, verse three, you know, Jesus says that. You know, uh, this is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom we have sent. So even Jesus is, is acknowledging that the only true God is the Father. So I want to ask you this question. In that Trinitarian model, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, in that Trinitarian model, who does Jesus identify as the only true God? When Jesus says the only true God is the Father in John chapter 17 verse 3, in that Trinitarian model, who is he identifying as the only true God? The Father, the Son or the Holy Spirit? I'm not, sure I'm not trying to put you in spot. I'm not trying to put, I'm, I just want to, like if you have any problem about my belief in God, you can always scrutinize, no problem. Oh, no, 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 no. But what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm just trying to make you think that how can you believe in the concept of Trinity when Jesus never preached the concept of Trinity? In the Bible, there's not a single statement that has any statement about Trinity, never. And that's what the Quran is inviting the Christians that don't say three, say one. That's better for you. What's the need of saying three if it's one is sufficient? So who is the only true God according to Jesus? No, no, let's go back to the question. When, when, when Jesus says the only true God is the Father, in that Trinitarian model, who does he identify as the only true God? The Father, the Son or the Holy Spirit? Very simple, the Father. So therefore, if Jesus is saying the only true God is the Father, then by default, anything else apart from the Father is a false God. I'm not, I, I'm not 
Okay, look, look, if I say the only person, sorry, the only person in Speaker's Corner is, what's your name? Mark, nice to meet you, my name is Rahan. The only person in Speaker's Corner is Mark. Can there be another Mark? Can there be another person? No, no, no. Think about, look, think about this. Does it make... The, the, no, 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 no. Think about it. Think about it, because the Muslim belief is a pure monotheism. The oneness of God. No, 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 no. No, I, no, no, we're not here to impose on you. We just want to have a good discussion. Like, things that... Why? Because, because the thing is, if you are a true Christian, you should follow what Jesus taught you, correct? So where did Jesus claim, where did Jesus ever preach the concept of Trinity? Never. In fact, if you read in Mark chapter 12, verse 29, a scribe approached Jesus and asked him that which is the greatest of commandments? Jesus says the greatest commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Where is he quoting this from? Where is he getting this greatest commandment from? Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. He's echoing exactly what Moses came with in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. That hero Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. So Jesus, peace be upon him, he didn't come with a new message about God. He confirmed the same message about God, what Moses came with. Where did Moses believe in Trinity? Moses was a monotheist, only believed in one God, strictly. Not the, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit, no. Only the Father. So does it make sense to you that... Sorry, does it make sense to you that for 2,000 years, for 3,000 years, all of the Jewish prophets like Moses and Solomon and David, uh, you know, they preached the oneness of God and all of a sudden a man called Jesus, after 2,000 years later, preached about Trinity. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah? The theology is a bit... I know, wait, you're all right. No, no, I'm lost here. Sorry. Not be following you, Would you say Jesus is a creation? No, Would you no. say, okay, then take care of yourself, Mark. Take care. 